<laughs> well, hello everyone. I have been AWOL for a long time, haven't I? <laughs> As you can see, I have wedding dresses back there. If you are one of the people who likes to buy lace and appliques from me, um, just so you know, I'm not gone forever. Um, I hope to be back selling but it's probably not going to be until January sometime. Um, I do have those two dresses there which I actually did a preview video of and I still haven't uh, completely um, finished cutting those up. In fact I haven't even started I don't think on those two. And then I have two more here as well that you can't see in the closet there. So I've been dealing with some major health struggles and I have just not had the oomph, really. <laughs> I haven't had the energy. I haven't had the desire to do cutting and to do videos for the last couple of months. Um, uh, it's just been hard and I don't feel well most days for at least part of the day. and. So it's, it's just been tough. Um, so, um, yeah, I do want to get back to it, and I do want to do it, but I, I have to feel better than I've been feeling. I think that's what it is. So I decided to try to do Vlogmas, you know, vlog every day until Christmas. Now, I am guessing that I will manage to do precisely one video before Christmas, this one, but I'm going to try. We'll, we'll make it a goal, right? Set a goal for myself. So, um, I thought that I would tell you about the project that I have been doing for off and on over the last, I don't know, three or four, four weeks, maybe, which is making Christmas cards. And, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I belong to a a website that used to be it used to be a crafting um website it and everybody that came there sort of came there originally because it was to do with crafts paper crafts um but over the years uh, the uh, message board took on its own totally own existence and its own life that had nothing to do with crafts then the company that owned the website and owned the message board um, shut it down without telling anybody until they'd already done it, which was horrible. And over the year, uh, within, I don't know, I did, fairly quickly somebody sort of started up the same idea, the same um, message board, but on a different platform. And over the next year, two years, three years, a lot of us who were at the original place found our way to the new place. So that's sort of just to explain what I'm talking about here. So there are a core, I would say, of I don't know, a couple, maybe a couple thousand women primarily there's about two guys one or two guys on the whole thing but primarily women who um are on these uh message boards and um on the this one board in particular there's a couple hundred people who are on there pretty regularly and i'm one of them and the women on this board sorry the people on this board but this was all women in this case um really really helped me and were fantastic support to me when I was going through the stuff leading up to my sister dying two years ago um, dealing with um, problems I have with my mother as well around the same time and um, they sent cards to my sister um, before she died and were just such a huge and wonderful support system 
And that has been the case for a bunch of people um, who use this message board and <clears throat> who have gone through deaths or other like major challenges in their lives. So anyway, so it's this absolutely great, great group of people by and large. There are always one or two. But anyway, so I decided this year for reasons that are not quite clear to me to participate in the annual Christmas card swap. Well, there are 137, I believe is the number, 137 participants in the Christmas card swap. So, um, I have been working on making 136 Christmas cards to send out to people. Um, now, I am down to my last, oh, I just counted it and now I forgot again already. I think I still have 29 that need to be done. And I'm really thinking maybe I'm just going to buy, like, the 29 because I'm like so over this and I do not like making cards I want to put that out there too but I was like this will be really good for me because it will force me to do something creative <sighs> yeah that hasn't worked out so well but it will force me to do something creative it will force me to spend time in my craft space which is where I am right now and it will um, you know, make me have to, like, meet a deadline. And I will say that I actually am on target. I'm doing fine. All, all of my, some of the cards are going international. Those are all ready to go and will be in the mailbox tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Indigestion. Sorry about that. And the vast majority of all the others are also ready to go and we'll be in a mailbox tomorrow so that was great and I was like it would be so much fun to get maybe over a hundred Christmas cards from like all over the U.S. and even from some foreign countries right I just thought that sounded like so much fun so I was like that's it okay I'm I'm in and um so far, I am a little, how many am I at right now? I'm trying to think. I got eight yesterday. Oh, it's so exciting. It's because normally, I don't even get eight Christmas cards or maybe get eight for like the whole season. And I got eight in one day. I was so excited. So, um, oh, and I want to say too, they don't have to be handmade. You don't have to make them. I just chose to because I thought it would be good for me. But uh, yeah, now I'm like, <laughs> I run out of steam. But anyway, so um, I'm like caught up in all this and I've started getting the cards. I think I have, a, I have about 13 or 14 already and it's only December 1st. So that's pretty fantastic. Um, and it's just awesome and um, I'm keeping track of like where they all come from and somewhere here in my colossal mess which I am in no way shape or form going to share with you somewhere here I have a, a map that you can like use um, markers on you know like a rub wipe off map and I'm actually going to, hoping to find that, and I want to, like, put, like, dots on the map from everywhere that I get cards. Because I'm like, that sounds, like, awesome. And I'm very into, like, geography. <coughs> Excuse me. And, like, where things are. And I love, like, finding out about foreign places or states or towns that I don't know about. So anyway, so there you go. So that's kind of what I've been busy doing when I've been doing anything. Mostly I've been doing absolutely nothing. So I'll show you one of my cards. I'm I'm a horrible card maker. I'm so bad at it. And I came up with this basic design here because I had to make so many and so it had to be fast. So these are just little punch outs and then they're um, popped up, you know, on foam adhesives and then I added they've got like I drew in the little strings and put a little uh, eh, little rhinestone thing there 
Ham wrote Merry Christmas, and then inside I just like have a, a stamp and just looks like that inside. So there you go. They're not all exactly like that, but the vast majority are. Um, my daughter started making cards and she got like really fancy with some of them. And this I think is awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah, but she made like two of these, right? And it took her about two hours and then she hasn't made any more. She made like one that's got, looks like a package. That was one. And then I think she made one. Oh yeah, and she made one that kind of looked like a sweater. Oh, I tell a lie. Wait, she made three of these, I guess, because here's another one and one I've already gotten an envelope to send to somebody. But uh, yeah, I really wish that she had made more than, you know, five or six cards it would have been a big help so December 1st let's see what else shall I add to my December 1st vlogmas um, I'm waiting for my advent calendar to arrive I treated myself to a cosmetics um, advent calendar I can't remember which one it is NYX I think or essence I think it's the next one anyway so yeah that should be here in the mail in the next couple of days um, isn't that exciting yeah that's like how my life is um, <coughs> excuse me as I said um, been having really major health problems um, I have a pick line right here I have a dressing underneath. Sorry, I have a dressing underneath here, and ta-da! Yes, my IV. So um, I have had this actually for a year, over a year and a half. Um, this particular, I've had two lines since I had it put in the first time. I mean, I've had it replaced once, and unfortunately, have to go get it replaced again on Monday. Um, what happens is over time and with using your arm and things, the um, IV line tends to wiggle its way out. And when it and what it is for those who don't know, so a PIC it stands it's P I C C and it stands for peripherally inserted intravenous catheter, I believe. So it's. Um, Oh no, sorry, it's P-I-C-C. -C. So it's peripherally inserted central catheter. There we go, that's what it is. Anyway, so it goes in here, but it goes all the way into, uh, actually very close to the heart. And what it it does, it's, it can stay in for a long time because it goes into a, a very large blood vessel. And so when you put fluids and you put medication into your IV, Instead of being in the little veins in your arm, which get irritated very easily and then, you know, burst or collapse, this, um, because it's in this, like, massive blood vessel, that doesn't happen. And so you can um, use it for a very long period of time. And you can also use it for things that are, um, like, um, vesicants, like, so things that would cause a lot of irritation or that would cause damage to small veins. Now in my case I just use it for two things. I use it for fluids and I use it for one medication and that medication's not um, <clears throat> damaging or to veins or anything but um, this is you can you can't have like a regular IV for a long period of time. You either have to have one of these or um, like a port access. So, um, I decided to do this, to have this um, IV access, and I um, use fluids. I, I do a bag of fluids usually once to twice a week when I get, um, when my nausea gets really bad. And the medication that I use, uh, I usually use between two and four days a week. And that's also when my, when my nausea is bad. So uh, nausea is my 
primary symptom, my worst symptom that I deal with and it's why I have to have this. Um, and uh, before I had my IV, I just kept having to go to the hospital because I would just get so nauseated and couldn't drink and um, I would get in a, it gets to be a vicious cycle. You know, you can't drink, I don't throw up by the way, but um, you can't drink anything because you feel sick, but you're not being able to drink anything actually makes you more sick. So anyway, the IV has been great. Um, I haven't had any problems other than, like I said, just having to get it replaced again. Um, I'm a little nervous this weekend because it's I haven't been able to use it for a few days and I still have to wait till Monday um, and I really don't want to have to go to the ER so I'm just like crossing my fingers that I don't have any problems and get really bad over the next two days so and the main thing I I have to do is drink and so I always, 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 always have water with me. Um, I try to drink um, about a liter and a half a day. And that is really, really a struggle for me. Um, I have found that I like drinking Fiji water much better than the um, filtered water we have in our house. It just doesn't taste good to me. Um, the Fiji, I can't keep doing this indefinitely. And I feel really bad because of, you know, all the plastic I'm using and all that kind of stuff. But um, until we figure out a way to get me better tasting water that um, is more um, environmentally friendly, I guess I'm going to stick to Fiji. So, yeah, my days... Um, consist of uh, pretty much wake up, start drinking water, get on the internet, take my medications, drink some more water, hang out in bed for an hour or two, eventually sort of get up and move around a bit, drink some more water. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's about it. I, do, I don't do much. Um, I, I have found that I have a very, very low tolerance for doing pretty much anything. I have to rest excessively. Um, and if I don't, and if I overdo it, and if I push it because I want to try to be more normal... I just end up getting sicker and I pee for it. So it's kind of a crappy way to live, but it's just how it has to be for now. Um, I am on a lot of medications trying to control this illness. I have I have multiple illnesses and um, I will go into more detail actually about that in some other videos. Um, there generally I have autoimmune diseases, um, as I said, plural. The disease or disorder that is causing the most problems right now is called mast cell activation syndrome, MCAS. And, um, it just causes my body to react, uh, similar to an uh, allergic reaction um, but it can happen anytime for no reason whatsoever um, and my body will just start putting uh, out uh, chemicals including histamine and uh, the chemicals cause these symptoms and the symptoms are incredibly wide-ranging um, Everything from elevated blood pressure, in my case, like really bad elevated blood pressure, to um, flushing, to um, like 
runny nose and watery eyes to hives to um, gastrointestinal distress, nausea, um, and uh, all, just all kinds of things. And in actual fact, I'm actually starting to have a flare right now. I call them flares. A lot of us do that have this. And I don't know if it will be visible. Yeah, I think it is actually, maybe. But this ear is starting to turn red. And <laughs> this is, it's so weird. When I talk about my illness, I tend to start to get a reaction. And um, I can, so I don't know what most of my triggers are. A lot of people who have this have figured out like there's foods and scents and things that they know will trigger this this reaction. I don't. Basically the only react the only things I know that trigger me are emotions and um it can literally I can just be thinking about something that upsets me or that that makes me feel agitated and I can start to get a reaction which is and I can just talk about this and get a reaction it's it's ridiculous it's just horrible and the thing is once it starts <laughs> it can be very hard to get it to calm down again and to put a lid on it and stop it from getting going from just being a mild reaction which is what I have right now to a really bad one which will have me laid up sometimes for a couple of days um, and can't eat, struggle to drink, have to do IV fluids, um, just um, feel like death. And by the way, uh, ang severe anxiety and severe depression are also part of it. And when I, my body starts putting out the chemicals, I, I become severely depressed immediately I go from like feeling perfectly normal to okay I want to die now um literally within like 30 minutes or so it's it, it's bizarre and it's all to do with the chemicals that your body is putting out and I try to remember that but it's really hard really 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 hard and I've been dealing with chronic illness for most of my life and um what I'm going through now, and this has been going on for like three years, that things have been really bad, um, is one of the most challenging things I've ever dealt with, um, with my health. Um, and actually, I'm probably for the longest period too, like without a break. I've really... I had one month in that, like, three years, I've had, like, one month where things were good. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, if anybody's still watching this, which is probably not, which is fine, <laughs> but if you are, hey, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to go now, and I am going to go and take Benadryl, which is has become my new best friend take lots and lots of Benadryl and I'm probably going to take a Xanax too because that helps to calm my system down and I'm going to probably watch some videos on YouTube which I do a lot of I just do that a lot so I'm probably going to do that and yeah that's probably it for me for today <laughs> and um, my daughters are both out right now with my granddaughter but when they come home I'm gonna ask my daughter my older daughter the one who oh excuse me I'm sorry the one who's the good card maker I'm gonna ask her if she like could she please like you know make me some cards because I really need to get this project finished anyway so there you go that's life at the uh, at our house and life for me what it's like right now thank you for watching and I will try to see you again tomorrow for day two 
of Vlogmas. If I could do two days in a row, it'll be a freaking miracle, I tell ya. Miracle! <laughs> Bye.